Hey, this is Max. I am back for a second video. Following up on the last one we made with the beginner stuff. Uh, it's been a few days and a few levels. Uh, so, want to show you some things that uh, you should be doing at this point a few days into the game. First things first, always collect your free crates. Uh, and also, if you've been doing live racing, uh, you should be collecting some nice tokens to use. Uh, that should also be um, added to your overall collection of fusions. Now, fusions are important, we'll show why later. So, I had seen some decent uh, drops, so I used my 200 um, keys that I have saved up. Uh, the free one I already collected earlier. So, at this point, your car should be somewhat more modified, uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the difference between using fusions uh, and not using fusions when it comes to live racing. Okay, Live racing is where you're going to make most of your keys and most of your RP. So you need to get your feet wet in that. Do it early, uh, do it well, and it will serve you for the entire time you play this game. Okay, so I just burned up some of my money uh, to do some upgrades. Now you notice the uh, upgrades came with uh, fusion slots that are unfilled. Okay, so I'm not going to fill, fill them at the moment uh, since I don't have the fusions. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually going to go tune the car without worrying about filling out the uh, fusion slots. So we tweak it to the best Evo that we can. And that can depend on uh, where the wheels set. Okay, so it's still going up. Well, it's dropped, so let's move it this other way. Try to get some uh, nice... Alright, let's see. That should be about right. Okay, 151, 152, 34, okay. Alright, still going up. Up, oh, dropped. So somewhere between 42 and 43 is where we want to be. 44 drops. So 43 is it. Okay, whoops. Not so easy sometimes to get it right on the... Yeah, move that again. Oh, there we go. Right, perfect. So we have the tire set up. Let's uh, mess around with the final. No, nope, doesn't seem to help. Okay, where we had it before seems to be the spot. So 166 might be the best we're gonna get out of this car at the moment without uh, any fusions. So let's do it again. Yeah, bump it the other way. Again, depending on your device, this could be pretty obnoxious. Uh, the slider sometimes moves a lot, even though you only tap it for a little, or it refused to move. In which case you're stuck messing with it. Regardless, uh, we have maximum evil tune. Oh, I got an upgrade. Right? Okay, show me. That's probably the nitrous that I was waiting on. Uh, stage five. There you go. Fit the part again. No fusion. Okay. So our our PB went up quite a bit, and uh, that evil did go up a little bit due to the nitrous change. Now we're gonna have to retune again, but. Only the nitrous. We don't even have to worry about the other parts yet. Unless the nitrous makes no difference, in which case you may want to uh, also check your um, wheel settings. Okay, here we go. If we lower it a little bit, it goes up. If we lower it too much, it doesn't really help, so we'll leave it at 3.0. Okay, dyno it. 13.694 is what the uh, dyno saying it'll do. We know that GTIs pretty much all beat dyno. Um, so my gut feeling is that it'll run probably 1340s to 1330s if it's if we're really lucky but probably not 133s maybe 13.4s that's that's what my uh, bet would be um, it usually beats its dyno by about two tenths now on some settings it could beat it by a lot I'm showing you what the fusion would do okay it would add that one fusion I have left right now would add 20 evo I'm not adding it because I want to demonstrate something to you regarding the effect uh, of upgrades in uh, live. But what we also see now is that there's a custom tri uh, trial that I can do. I'm not going to mess with that yet. Um, ladder races are now easy, okay, because you just did a bunch of upgrades. So it's worth to run one because this, before you go in live, this will allow you to get a feel for where your car's at. Anytime you modify a car, before you jump in the live lobby, you should see what it can run. Probably do it on some kind of um, trial, regulation, etc. Okay, let's take a run, see where we're at. 
should be, like I said, 13 fourths would be my bet. Uh, if I can beat that, that's even better. The greater you can beat the dino by, uh, the greater your margin of error will be uh, for when you're live racing. But don't forget, see, 1343, that's pretty good. So while that's two tenths, almost two tenths faster, um, it's not perfect, okay? Because you know most T1 cars can be as dyno by some. Now, I also um, quickly circled a uh, option on the bottom there to go to the next race. That is a nice new add-on with the latest update. However, that option doesn't pop up for new players until level 10. Uh, if you don't see it in the beginning when you start playing, it's not a glitch. Uh, around level 10, it's, it pops in for me. I didn't have it until I hit that level. So the first 10 levels, you may not have that option when you're playing ladder, regulation, or trials. So I'm just taking another run. Um, let's see where we're at. Okay, notice it went up to run 14. You just did run 13. Again, 13-4, that was a high 13-4, so not as good on the shifting as the other one, okay? So we're going to go back to the garage and get ready for uh, the um, live racing. Now, again, anytime you get a go, take it. It definitely helps you down the line, okay? Because it gives you money, it gives you gold. Don't leave the goals there uh, already finished without collecting it because a new goal won't show up. Now, one of our goals is to beat Sneak. Uh, we can easily beat him now because we got the, a uh, blue easy bar showing. So let's go uh, take him out, collect our 10 gold. Again, should be a very easy race with the upgrades we have. And, you know, so let's see where we're at. Bear with me here, my device loads kind of slow. Um, it just isn't as good as say maybe a Apple iPad or something. Uh, it's a Samsung tablet. Now you notice uh, with this car my driving style or launching style is always the uh, number two drop of um, RPM rather than uh, the rapid tap method. Mainly because if you can time it right that's more consistent than the tap method. Okay. Uh, on some cars in the future, like I explained on the first video, some of these cars rev so fast that the tap method basically doesn't work. You, you can almost never get a perfect launch out of the car. A perfect launch isn't always the best launch. It depends on the car, but in tier one cars, pretty much they all launch well at perfect. So it's not a bad thing. Now we got an interesting new uh, option here, the trial cup race for 20 of them to get 55,000. Uh, now, we do have a trial race available, uh, but I'm not going to spend any time on that yet. Maybe later I'll do some on my own. Right now, what I like to do is, um, you know, show you guys uh, how, how easy it is to uh, get money through uh, other ways. Now, ladder race eventually pays a nice chunk too. I just showed you there. So that is a very nice thing to keep going with. You can go as far as you can. I may do that later as well, just to uh, see how far we can get. So now we should go and take a look at live race. Um, live racing car setup is very important. What I said earlier is that I set the car up with a high PP, but I didn't really put any fusions in. So my Evo is tuned without the fusion, a maximum Evo of 178. The car can run 13 fours, but remember the dyno is a 13 six. You will be facing opponents at about the same PP level and same dyno level. However, there's a nice margin of error there based on the Evo. At least this is what I've discovered from playing the game. So even though you may have an almost identical PP rating to your opponent, if they have somewhat better setup, they can still beat you easily. Uh, in fact, let's see if this guy can pull past me. He very well may... Uh, yes, he did. Okay. He just kind of ran me over because his car probably has a little better Evo at the same PP level. So even though he dynos maybe just a little bit faster, he's still in the same bracket with me. And he just ate me alive. Okay. Now, that's not a 
large margin of loss, so we don't want to just jump out of the lobby yet. We can still win here. So let's try a T2 car. Now, you're in a T1. Why would you try a T2 car? Well, because T2 um, introduces a new aspect to live racing, which I will introduce to you when I get there. But what it does is it makes the live racing start a little more complicated for each player and therefore introduce another margin of error. Yeah, wait, wait, he bet me and then disconnected it. It happens. So let's find someone else. The T2 cars don't always do as well as they could because if the player isn't used to the new addition to the launch, they could very well botch the launch and give you a win. So never be afraid to race a T2 car with your T1. Generally speaking, you have a slight advantage to start with. And remember, the lobbies are set up by Dino, so they're not going to run uh, a lot faster you, for the most part, okay? There are always exceptions. Don't expect to win every race in life. You're going to lose quite a few, but you're going to win a few here and there too. As long as you're set up right, you should win more than you're losing, and that's where you want to be. If you win too much in live, you're just going to get pushed to a, a faster bracket where you're not going to win. So, you know... Having a loss every so often isn't necessarily a bad thing. Notice I just beat that T2 car. He was from a legendary crew. That really doesn't mean much. Dreamville is a great crew. That was Dreamville 3. They're legendary because they probably make a lot of RP points in the season. Therefore, they get the badge. Uh, legendary is not something to fear. I, I have no qualms about challenging a legendary player. And actually, if you ever get to the T5 lobbies in the upper end, everybody's legendary. So it's meaningless. Okay, so now these um, minis are not to be underestimated. They, uh, they've been the bang of my existence so far. Every live race I've done, the minis either give me a run for my money or it outright beats me. So this one might be no different. Let's see how he does. All right, we thing about minis is they're a top end car. They start accelerating really quick in the later half of this race. Watch him come. Ugh, damn it. Okay, I just got, I just got killed. Now, um, yeah, pretty bad. Now, I know I absolutely cannot beat that time. When I run into stuff like this in the lobby, what I consider is that is your uh, upper threshold for the faster cars. So that's your target goal to hit that kind of a time without necessarily doing more upgrades. If you can beat the fastest car in the lobby, you're now the top dog, right? Well, how are you going to do that? You do that by adding fusions. Now, how do I get fusions? Well, there are two ways to get fusions. Those keys, which come very slowly, or what I'm doing now, which is stripping an, an identical car that you bought from the dealership. And those cars will give you fusions. Unfortunately, in T1, each car only gives you two. Eh, $30,000 for two fusions? Doesn't sound like a great deal, but guess what? Without those fusions, you can't win and earn more money, so those are money still well invested. If you ever want to max a car out, you must max out the fusions as well to get the ultimate performance out of it, so you got to do it, okay? Yeah, I, I know. It's money, but I'll have money. Uh, it takes play the game, earn money, win live races, earn money. Everything you do earns money in the game, so you want to win, right? You want to progress. You want to spend money. And you want to spend it smart, which is stripping cars, getting fusions. Stripping cars also can, in the later tiers, give you S6. All very important. Now, I've been adding fusions. Notice my EVO has jumped up. The PP rating has not changed. However, my EVO is now in the 200s. Now, I'm going to retune because when you add fusions, it has the same effect sometimes as adding parts. It makes the uh, horsepower go up, the grip increase. Okay, and potentially increase your car's total top speed, therefore requiring final drive adjustments. That's what I'm going to do as well. I'm going to tweak this and see if it does anything. In this case, uh, not a whole lot. So I'm going to kind of leave it where it was. See if I can, let's see, can we hit two? Yep, there we go, 280. That's probably the highest I'm going to get. So I'm going to see if we can stick it to 280. Yep, it's going down, it's going up. So 280 is it. Now, we're now a 13.5, okay? Now you're, you're about a tenth faster on the dyno. 
And don't forget, according to what I explained earlier, this car will beat Dino again. So 13.5 might put you in a faster bracket, but you're supposed to be able to beat Dino by at least 2 tenths. You should be doing about a 13.3. Let's see if we're doing that. Now, with higher EVO and higher Fusion, there's another advantage you have is that you may still face slower cars because their PP rating might be the same. They may dyno close, but then they won't have the ultimate performance level that a higher EVO car would have. So you can actually face cars that are higher in PP rating potentially even, running the same dyno, but they're actually gonna run a little bit slower because they don't have the uh, EVO. Now, I just circled that, this guy's gonna bet. Uh, anytime the money bet portion has a long wait, is either they disconnected or they're thinking about challenging you for some money. 2,500 bucks, I'm in, okay? I have confidence that all my extra fusions and the retune will give me a sus substantial uh, substantially stronger car that would be competitive in this lobby. Let's let's see what we do here. All right, launch. Okay, so I'm driving them pretty well. I'm not doing it perfect, but it's not a bad run. Now I don't think he launched badly, and he is slowly pulling up, but he's not going to win this round. Okay, I got him there. Twenty five hundred dollars in the bank. Okay, thirteen two two two. Now we're beating Dino by almost three tenths. Okay, see, see, that's where the high EVO from, and the fact that you have fusions put into the car really shines and makes the difference. In live racing, those little bit of extra bumps from the fusions are critical to you winning in these lobbies. Since we won the first one, let's, let's test, if, see if we can win some more. Uh, this will prove that we're in a um, advantageous tune and also advantageous build at the moment, okay? All right, this is an identical car to mine. It's a uh, Note Star GTI. Let's see how well he does. Again, launching right now, it's pretty much same as when you're doing regulation, right? You rev it up, release at the beginning of two, three, two release, perfect launch. Slightly short, oh, that was a little late. Perfect, okay. I would normally shift almost slightly, oh, this guy disconnected, bummer. I was hoping for a uh, straight up race so I can see what happens, but uh, he disconnected. I did get the win though. Oh, that was a poor run, 13.355, but um, like I said, perfect uh, first shift isn't necessarily good. I normally try to short shift second gear only a little bit before perfect that tend to get you the quickest runs that holds true even with faster cars all right let's um again we need to test to see if we are in fact doing well or just the first race and two are just uh, a fluke um that right there i just pointed out that's the um kj's uh toyota rocket bunny that's the uh tier one boss car that you could win uh and it's uh, well worth the patience of building a car ready to beat them to win it okay i jumped out of that lobby because i clicked on challenge and nothing happened so sometimes you need to go in and out to uh, reset the connection all right remember <clears throat> the many has been the bane of our existence up to this point okay prince masood the killer racer may very well kill me again but We've changed our car, we've added Fusion, we have a good Evo. I have some confidence here that I'm gonna do better. So let's see if we do. Prince Masood. All right. Max RPM. Three, two drop. Bam, perfect. Short, there we go, nitrous. Okay. All right, we build up a nice, you notice the gap. That's important to build on a mini. If you don't have that gap, you're not gonna win when they start pulling on you. All right, Prince Masood didn't even come back to uh, threaten me at all. So, okay, 13.26, not the best run, but a good run. He ran a 14.0, so he, his car definitely uh, wasn't set up right in some way. Okay, could be a fluke. He might just be in the wrong lobby. Uh, let's do a few more. So if you're winning, you see I'm at 12, key, uh, 12 races out of 15 to get those keys. 
I can't emphasize enough why you need to do live because live gives you keys. And if you're a free player, you need those keys from live. You're not going to buy any keys. You gain them from daily battles, you gain them from the calendar, and you gain them from live. But live is the way to go. 100 bucks? Oh, yeah, I'm in. Who worries about 100 bucks? So, Extreme Nitro here might be a good test. He's the same kind of car I have. If he's got the full fusion tuned the same way, this should be a very close race. So let's see where we're at here. Okay. All right. So I am currently ahead, and that's a good sign. Now his nitrous is still running. Okay. Let's uh, shift that. See, he's starting to pull on me. This is going to be tight. That looked like he won. No, I won. How did that happen? <laughs> Oh, people hate these. They absolutely hate it. Uh, we, we had the identical time, okay? Now, if you get the identical time, uh, what, what, I, I don't know if this is true, but what I've been told is that the computer actually goes to the fourth digit, so 13.227X, and your X happens to be slightly faster than his X. That's what you want. Okay, tell that to the guy who lost. I'm sure he, that's not what he's thinking. He's like, God damn it, game screwed me. Well, eh, maybe it did. But hey, I won, I'm happy. But notice we ran the same time. The, we're set up pretty close. And again, you know, he's probably doing well in this lobby. So I'm, I'm going to bounce out because again, I, I don't see anybody I can challenge. But you see what I'm saying here is that with the right setup, you're at least competitive in the lobby. You shouldn't easily lose. Um, amateur reg regulation. I need some money. I'm going to do some regulation races. I'm going to pause it uh, and come back when, uh, when I'm ready. Okay, so now I'm back. And uh, this is uh, now looking at the uh, ladder races. I just uh, done a bunch of regulations on some ladders. So the ladder races with the current tune at 13.2, I've already made it to 20 out of 24. And it's showing it as uh, uh, orange. Now, orange usually means it's gonna be a tough race, okay? But in the case of this, it's because in some uh, ladder or trial races, and, and especially PC Cup even, what happens is that the difficulty ratings start to show as being very difficult near the end. That doesn't mean that you actually can't beat it. Uh, it. It just means that it's really difficult, right? So it's worth a shot. Now, I just did race number 20, and I have a eh, 5 tenth margin. Well, let's do the next race. Now it's saying it's extreme, okay? Extreme difficulty. Are you sure you want to try this, rookie? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to try it. Ooh, I gained a level too. Okay, some bronze keys. And Jerry says his collection got sold. That's nice, Jerry. We'll get it back. Except it's probably gonna be on my dime. Uh, all right, let's try this extreme race. Come on, load today before I grow a beard. Thank you. Okay, same deal. Release on two, launch. Do your regular thing, right? Now, we're already pulling pretty far past the guy, so I'm, I'm pretty safe here. And uh, that means this extreme race isn't as extreme as you may think. Now, this isn't true of every extreme race. Uh, some extreme races basically means there's no way in hell you're winning it. So don't take every race the same way. Some of these um, races, when they show you uh, hard, it's already impossible. Some of them, they show you even the extreme, it's still possible. So you gotta have to kind of play with it, but at least with ladder races, extreme is in the kiss of death. Okay, now with the Bosch races, it is. Uh, and that's why you gotta be more patient when challenging the bosses. Uh, you want to win the car. So you wanna take your time, play the ladder, get all the money from it, play the regulation, get money from that, build your car and max it out as much as you can with the fusions you have to buy cars um, I'm, i already bought actually three gti's to strip uh, since the first video by playing live by playing uh, regulation 
just, you know, getting money in by playing. Uh, I always see questions about, well, how do I get more money in this game? Well, you, you play the game. It's the easiest way to get money. Uh, I mean, you could pay for money. I think you're a sucker if you do it because uh, Natural Motion charges you an arm and a leg in real money for literally very little value of actual in-game money. Okay, why would you do that? I'd rather drink a latte and then play the game with my uh, $5 latte in hand. Well, not, maybe not in hand, with a straw. Okay? So, play the game. You, you gain enough money. And really, it's a game, man. You gotta play, you gotta be patient. That's what it's all about. You play it, enjoy it. Don't rush. You know, where are you trying to get to? In-game is no different than right now. You're gonna be doing live, you're gonna be playing for RP, grinding for keys. So, it's an app game that's going to require a lot of repetition. So don't, don't stress about doing it fast. Just enjoy it. And repetition is the key with this game, unfortunately. You're going to be repeating stuff over and over and over. Um, that's any app games that requires grinding. Now, this is no different. Okay, so... Now, we're almost... I think this is the last race, right? I'm on the last race here. So let's see if we win this one. Uh, or this is the second to last race, maybe. We'll find out at the end. Okay, I lose track. Sometimes when I'm doing repetitive stuff, I just kind of do it like an automaton and start not thinking about what I'm doing. Okay, that was the last race. So where's my money? 12,000. There we go. All right, now if you notice, my total has gone up to 70,000 in the span of the last, what, 15 minutes? Okay, so money isn't that hard to come by if you're playing. Now, if you log in, play two races, and go away, and then no, you're not going to get much money quick and you're always going to be broke. The other thing is if you're upgrading every car that you run into or get possession of, you're going to be constantly broke. Uh, we'll discuss about that, but you know, building the right cars is just as important as uh, building the car itself uh, to the maximum level. So you don't want to just start randomly spinning on cars because you're going to be constantly broke and no, none of your cars are going to be competitive. Okay. All right, so since we got some money, I'm gonna do some upgrades. I'm gonna try to push this car closer to where we can beat KJ and take his car. So at what point is your car totally ready for KJ? Well, I'm gonna probably show you um, that in the next video because I know this car is not yet ready to take KJ's car. It is ready to take KJ probably up to the last race, but there's a nice bump in speed uh, when it comes to actually challenging the boss for their car. So if they ran say 13-3 against you at the race before and then they challenge you for the uh, pinch race, you may be looking at a lot more, uh, a lot faster car in that race. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy myself another car. Notice I actually paused in upgrading to buy this car because the upgrades are not as good without fusions, right? So you kind of have to split your expenditures evenly. Buy a car, upgrade a bit, then go make more money, okay? No big deal. Now, I can obviously take out Keisha no problem because it's very easy. And I think right now, my car's probably gonna be a full second or so faster. Um, we, we can definitely take KJ for his first two races as well, but there's no need to rush. I mean, it gives you money and gold um, but it also tempts you to try for that last race, which will then immediately put you into the pinks challenge. So if you go to the third race for KJ, you're automatically going to have to challenge him for the car or you give up the car. And you give up the gold you want too if you lose. So don't play KJ yet. Don't even rush. Go back to live. Go enjoy making some money, tuning the car, you know, getting the hang of live racing and be patient. A few more days, we're gonna be there and we're gonna be ready for KJ. In addition, if you keep playing live, you're gonna earn enough keys and uh, we may have enough silver keys in a day or so to go ahead and make a silver key pull. Uh, that will give us a star card. There's hope that it will be at least a T2, hopefully a T3 maybe, or even better, a T5. But in actuality, I don't think T5 would be great. Oh, I just unlocked Pro. Okay, that means great. Regulation is going to be more valuable. Uh, I can run that for money uh, until my car is ready. So, getting the starred car from the keys are going to be 
your goal always because those are better cars than the ones without stars. Uh, and you know, silver keys can give you one star T1s all the way up to five star T5s. So it's a little bit of luck. But right now we don't have anything other than this GTI. We do want to try to pull the keys to get something. So to pull the keys, you gotta earn the keys. And where do you earn the keys fastest? Live. So back to live I go. So I'm gonna make a few more live races just to see if this car set up with the Fusions is still holding its own, okay? Let's see how we do. Again, my experience has been 2,500, yeah, whatever. I'm almost broke, so if I win this, it'll be nice. If I lose it, earn it back in regulation. Two races, big deal. Okay, don't be afraid to bet small. I mean, 200,000, uh, no thanks. 2,000, 5,000, 10,000, 20,000, depending on what tier you're in, that's not a big deal. You know, make it more exciting too. Now, I want to beat this guy because, you know, I can get $2,500. Let's drive it right. Come on. Oh, see? Now that gap is kind of scary. It's not wide enough for me to be 100% sure I'm gonna win this. And it was close. But I won and that's that. So I will check in next time and show you how to take down KJ and get the boss car. Until then, keep on racing.